Hey everybody, Katerina here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna draw a portrait of my brother for his birthday. I've done a thumbnail and some swatches of some colors that I thought that would match his skin tone from the picture, the reference picture. I'm selecting my hoof mark from my hoof markers and I'm gonna use a clear font sketchbook it's not the best for markers because it's really absorbent uh, but I'm gifting him the sketchbook as well and he wants it for gloss, the good sketchbook for gloss or watercolors but I prefer using markers so the present is gonna be with markers <laughs> I'm starting the sketch with um, some Prisma color, pe color pencil I was erasing quite a lot actually to get things right like I done the nose for example and then the eyes look a bit old and then I fix the eyes and then the nose is old again <laughs> and I was like going back and forth back and forth and they like get it right And I was using an orange pencil because I think it would complement his skin tone because I don't erase the sketch. I slightly erase it with a, um, a needed an eraser but I don't completely erase it because that's my guide and I want to see it. That's why I'm using a colored pencil because I want to be able to keep it there, the sketch. Because if I was doing with a regular pencil, graphite pencil, it would be very muddy and the colors would be altered by the pencil. As you can see I'm starting to raise the eyes again and I'm gonna do it again <laughs> later. I don't know, <laughs> he looks like a cowboy here. It doesn't look like a cowboy in the reference picture. I don't know why it's that. And I couldn't uh, get the expression right because it was a s slight smile. It wasn't a huge expression like a really intense one it was a slight expression and it's more difficult to cut these things when you're drawing like if something is subtle it's harder to draw it uh, 
I think I might be fencing up the sketch now. Like dipping in some darker values and putting some more details, even though they won't be visible when I add the marker on top. But it helps me see if the sketch is um, right, because if you mess up the sketch, then the drawing is gonna be messed up in the end. You can't you can't make it right if you don't make a great sketch at the first uh, at the start. So here I'm erasing it slightly. And here I'm testing the markers in a sketchbook that I have that is similar with the one I'm gonna put the markers on <laughs> because the markers change from paper to paper and the paper that I tried them before is completely different from the one I'm using now. It has different color, texture, everything. So I wanted to see if they're good for the sketchbook I'm using now. And I think I used uh, really light ones. I mean, I could have gone darker with the skin tone. I'm putting the markers that I know I'm gonna use here, so I won't have to find them in the 100 markers that I have. I got these Ahu markers a few weeks ago, I think. And I got the ones with a chisel name. And I did that for a few reasons. First one is like they're cheaper, so that's a big plus. Um, and I haven't found the brass nibs to anywhere that I can purchase them here in Greece. Like Amazon won't uh, deliver them here in Greece yet. Um, so I wanted to try with the chisel nib. And I really like working with a chisel because it makes you work with shapes um, in comparison with a brass nib where it just... I really focus on blending when I work with a brass, not um, marking the shapes of the drawing. see here that I'm trying to follow the curves of the face whenever I put the markers down to the paper. It creates a better effect, I think. It captures the shape of the face better when you do it that way, instead of just um, putting the marker all over the face and then try to try the, the shape of the face later. I don't know how to explain it. And I'm starting with um, the darkest place, the, the places that I know are gonna be the darkest in the illustration, but I'm starting quite light, I guess, you can say, because it's, it's kind of scary to start dark, dark, when you're working with markers, because you can't go back from there. But I think that way I'm not going quite dark. I could go a lot darker, I think, with a skin tone. But because I'm starting so light, sometimes I don't add so much contrast in the end. Like here I'm using a very light color just to put a first layer down and blend the colors a bit. But 
I think I actually leave it for some places, like maybe the gin or the tip of the nose. I'm not quite sure. And the hut really made it difficult for me. I spent a lot of time in the hut and it doesn't look right. Even though I'm trying to make it look right, I think I made it even worse in the end, trying to fix it with some colored pencils. I don't know. You'll see, but I don't think I did a very good job on the hat. But luckily, I think you're not gonna um, pay much attention to the hat. You'll pay much at more attention to the face, I think. I hope so, at least, because I don't even know what is that. How the this hat that I drew works, I don't even know. But anyways... <laughs> the eyes and I find it hard sometimes uh, to put the highlighter on the eyes because it can really change the um, the place that the eyes look I mean if you put the shadow or the highlight on the eyes a, a little bit different it changes the whole eye direction and you can easily mess that up I think and putting a light was in the brows, or the brows first because I'm scared to put like go straight with a dark one that I'm gonna use for the hair. And hair is another part that I struggle the most when I'm drawing portraits. I'm trying to get better, but I find it a bit boring to be honest to draw hair. I don't know why. I'm not. Um, a very detail-oriented artist. I'm quite messy, actually, and I prefer to just slap the color or the sketch and just be done with it very quickly, you know. I'm not like, oh, let's put all these details here, details. <laughs> oh no, I just like to focus on the bigger shapes, the shadows, the highlights, and not so much in the details, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Here I'm deepening the saddles. as I did with the brows, like starting light. That's my approach to every thing, to everything actually with the markers. I'm redefining the nose because I'm afraid I might lose the shapes if uh, the colors end up really close. And I'm working on the on the lips. deepening the colors of the hair and adding some details to the hair in general some flyaway hair to make it more realistic because he has messy hair actually so I think the flyaway that I'm gonna add in a bit and later with pencil um, I think it really brought it together for the hair because right now it's just blocks of hair it's not detailed, as I said before, I'm not for details.
let me know what you think about the speed of this drawing because it was a very big one it was like one hour and I just didn't think anyone would go and watch a video that long so I really sped it up but I don't know if you prefer to see the whole process or maybe skip the sketch and have a slower speed in the actual coloring of the piece. I don't know, let me know because I'm new at this, I don't really know what I'm doing, so if you have any advice I would really appreciate it. trying to add more depth in the shadow from the hat but I don't think that I achieved that I should have gone a lot darker than this I don't know if uh, it translates that this is a shadow from the hat if you notice that the lighting is changing throughout the video it's because I started drawing this piece at like 5 in the afternoon and finished at 7 or 8 I don't really remember and it's starting to get darker a lot earlier so I had to change like the lighting setup because I was relying on natural lighting at first but then I had to open a lamp <laughs> to have a better quality lighting because it was getting so dark outside. I actually like that it's getting darker earlier, but it doesn't really help me if I want to record the video, but it's okay. Just say that I didn't just abandon it. Just saving it a little bit. I'm gonna add a bit more depth than that I think in the end, but nothing crazy. It was just a white shirt, anyways.
grab a cup of grandma's to add some depth or, or details that I couldn't with the markers. It's always like the last step I take when I'm drawing with markers. I like adding that depth that you cannot see with the markers. That detail because even though it have they have bullet nibs, it's not the same with a serpent pencil. And you can add some subtle hues, like some at some point I even used blue in the face I think and I'm adding some glass with the pink. I added a yellow like if I did that with a marker it would be distracting I think it wouldn't look so good. I you can make it look good with markers only but I prefer this method. It is my favorite way to work using markers and pencil in the end. This is my usual process like firstly drawing the sketch with a pencil called pencil then marker on top, then again going back with the uh, pencils. And here I'm adding more flyaways just to make it look more detailed, even though it's not. And I think you can trick someone into thinking that I put it so much more time into here by just adding some flyaways. But now you know my secret, it's not. I didn't put any time <laughs> in the hair. Darkening the eye sockets and under the jaw, making it a bit more detailed in the eyes. Here I'm trying again to fix the hat, but I've got some footage actually from here because I was trying to fix the hat and I couldn't. I don't know what to do with the hat, it looks really weird, like it's not part of the illustration. It's just alone here. <laughs> I don't know what is happening in the hat, I really don't like it. I. Uh, I actually chose that picture because of the hat, I liked how it looked and I wanted to challenge myself because I don't really draw hats and I was, it's not, it wasn't a good choice to try and do it when I'm trying to make a present for someone and I have to make it look good because it's not like I get to have a second chance because I'm gonna give them the sketchbook so I can't like cut the page or something. Here is the finished piece. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!